morning, so we are on our way now to the sport TV you can see behind. We've got the van packed up with all our bikes, so we've had breakfast and we'll be there in about half an hour, so I guess you'll see the route when we get there. Ready Can't guys? Really see. Can we on the way? start of the race and just waiting for our bikes to come in the van so many riders already like see them all it is I love stuff like this I just love that like the atmosphere of it it's just like a nice there's loads of people loads of bikes loads of people who love riding the bikes and um, I have decided that I'm gonna do the shorter well the middle versions an 85 115 and 155 I'm gonna do the 115 because I need to drop the ego and we have to be back and I just, it means I've got to keep speeds up for like 30 miles, so 30k an hour and, 30 miles an hour, shit, no 30k an hour, I'm just, I just don't think I'm going to be able to do it, I'm not on my own bike, I just don't feel as comfortable, so, drop the ego and just do the, the one, but then that means I don't go to the mirror, which is a bit disappointing, if I'm honest, but, one of those things, isn't it? I can come back. I can come back. No worries. Like I need to go back to Shibden Wall actually. I've not been back there yet. I need to go back and conquer that little fecker. Eddie Merckx himself. Oh, fucking hell. Wow. <laughs> so we just met Eddie Merckx, like... I, knew, I thought he might be I didn't think he'd just be up for like taking pictures like one absolute legend can't even believe he's got a picture and, oh, one absolute inspiration I know people throw that term around but like the thing is though when he he won like Tour de France and stuff but on like ridiculously small cassettes I know I've been moaning about cassettes all weekend but like they are like a different breed of cyclists. They are just insane. So yeah, I'm just gonna grab the bike now and then we're gonna head off soon. This is the bike we've got, little Ridley. Obviously it's my bag and Garmin and stuff, but yeah. It's got Ultegra. It's very nice. It's got 28s on the front. I know I said yesterday, but it's got like 28s on the front. They are really comfy tires. Um, comfortable saddle there, but that'll do for one ride. It's very nice. So light. DT Swiss wheels. My bottles match. It's very nice here, I have to say. <laughs> so this is the course, but how stereotypical is this? Are you ready? <laughs> you finish do you get a free beer? <laughs> Love it. Eh bien merci, j'ai entendu l'arrivée d'Eddie Merckx alors que les coureurs du groupe des 7 sont à l'entrée de Parios. Vous voyez, ils sont encore bien loin de l'arrivée. C'est toujours Raymond Poulidor, enfin plutôt c'est Raymond Poulidor ici qui emmène ce groupe devant Dancheli, Bessière et Pinjon, Teyer et Zimmerman. Et en dernière position, Van den Bosch qui ne mène pas, c'est tout à fait normal, bien sûr, Van den Bosch est l'équipier et l'un des équipiers d'Eddy Merckx. Et comme Eddy Merckx est en tête, Van den Bosch n'arrête pas. Dans ce groupe, il y a aussi ce coureur de Excusez-moi les cars, je vous trouve car voici les derniers 200 mètres, 180 mètres, 160 mètres, 150 mètres, voici sur les acclamations de la boule de Béringue, tout le, tout le Béarn et tout le Pays-Bas. Just 
amazing, honestly. It's beautiful weather. Beautiful roads. They're all like little country lanes. None of them are like big, horrible main roads. And the climbs, in fairness. I wouldn't even class them as climbs. These are just like little bumps in the road. Obviously, I'm not doing them here. So, I think that's how you say it. Okay, I don't know if I'm saying it wrong. But, yeah, I'm not doing that. But the actual climbs that they've put in the... The climbs that they've put in the thing. If you're used to riding where we are or Thailand and... Like, it's just... Just beautiful, like it's a nice day out. Beautiful day out, so yeah, more cyclists. Off, off, on we go. Just finished the ride and look what you get. So you get a t-shirt which says Eddie Merck finisher. And then this is just the icing on the cake. Of course you get a beer when you finish because it's Belgium, which I really like. And apparently it's named after a mountain and the percent of the beer is the, sorry, can't see my face. The percent of the beer is the actual gradient um, of the mountain. So it's like 6.6% .6 meaning strength and gradient. I really like that idea. I'm not going to drink it. I don't really drink, so... I will save it or maybe take it home as a memento. So I got back and I got showered. As you can see, I look a little bit uh, cleaner, less sweaty than I did before. Um, so the other, the rest of the group are going to like a beer tasting thing. But I just really want to go and wander around the city. And there's a really good, um, the vegan place I told you about. I'm gonna go back there for my tea. You just like, just want to just explore on your own, that's how I feel. That's what I'm talking about, a vegan burger. A little bit of uh, broccoli and cauliflower. Bravo Merz! Bravo Merz! Et si je le dis comme ça sur l'antenne avec mon enthousiasme, je dois vous dire que pendant les 100 km où j'ai suivi, mais tout au moins je précédais des merdes, où j'étais devant lui dans ma voiture, debout, je ne pouvais pas m'empêcher de crier Bravo Merz! Allez, Eddie! Allez, Merz, je les prononce!